On today's episode, we're going to take a look at the skill of tackling. More specifically, we're looking at how you can create acceleration uh, to defeat the ball carrier uh, and put force through the carrier on your way to the deck. Um, here, we're going to take a look at a clip, uh, which is pretty good all around, but we're really going to focus on the initial contact and how the tackler is able to take that initial contact and turn it into acceleration uh, to get the ball carrier on the ground. Here we're looking at the inside linebacker to the right. He's going to step up in the hole here, find himself in a very familiar position. Okay, he's actually partially getting blocked by the quarterback here, looking to make a tackle on number 25. The first thing we want to look at, and the most important thing in tackling, is we want to make sure that our eyes are up, we see what we hit, Okay, and we are making that contact with the shoulder. Okay, we see here the eyes are up. He's working to keep his head to the side. That shoulder is the con the, the point of contact that the, the tackler is making with the carrier. Second thing is we see him get uh, get a foot in the ground. Okay, nice and tight to that carrier. Okay, I've heard some people call that getting their foot in the hoop. Okay. We want to make sure that we land that foot in a position where we can get that next step in the ground. It's nice and tight to the carrier, okay, and we can remain in balance while we exert force on the carrier. Okay, and we'll see here as we roll it back. That foot gets in the ground. Good bend in the hips, knees, and ankles, and immediately we're taking that next step to try and get our weight going forward. Okay. Here the tackler does a great job of running his feet. Okay, and driving that ball carrier back. So we want to make sure that whenever we are striking a ball carrier, our eyes are up, our shoulder is the point of contact, our head is out of the contact and to the side. Okay, but he does a great job getting his foot in the hoop. Okay, he's able to strike with his same foot, same shoulder. Okay, and he's able to get that next step in the ground, create leg drive, okay, and drive that ball carrier back. Physical dominant tackle. Okay, we'll take a look at the next clip here. This one it may not be as clean, but to me it's just as impressive. This is a one-on-one -on -one situation working in a lot of space. Okay, we see number three here, gets his foot in the ground, okay, nice and close to the ball carrier, gets that foot in the hoop. Okay, the ball carrier changes direction again, helmets to the side, okay, and we were able to strike same foot, same shoulder, and make a physical collision with the carrier with that same foot, same shoulder. Now, from there, we see a lot, especially in open space, guys are worried about missing tackles, so they grab on and they hold on. We want to run our feet whenever we can, okay, and we can run our feet when we're in a position to put force opposite the ball carrier. So the ball carrier in this case is trying to work this way down the field. Okay, and we've been able to line him up, same foot, same shoulder. We can put force in the opposite direction of the carrier. We see here, number three is able to run his feet, okay, and ultimately get him down to the deck. Now what if we're in a situation where we can't put force opposite the carrier? We still want to create acceleration which brings the carrier to the ground. Okay, in this clip, Alabama defender is chasing that near hip. He gets out leveraged a little bit. Okay, but he's still got to try and take his shot and make this tackle. But now we can see here the carrier is working this way. We cannot exert force opposite the carrier. So we're not in a position we're trying to run our feet is going to be effective. The alternative is when we make contacts, again, helmets to the side, we're able to, to get a good strong clamp, okay? We want to roll, and instead of getting our feet in the ground, we want to get our hips in the ground. See here how the defender gets both hips in the ground and is able to execute a roll tackle. Okay, what that does is it actually creates acceleration through torque, and that torque is going to pull that defender down, okay? much faster than just your body weight. We want to key is we want to get two hips in the ground.
can create that torque. Last example here, we see another situation where the carrier is ultimately going to break contain and get out into space. And again, we have a situation where the tackler is not in a position to meet the ball carrier's acceleration. Ball carrier is accelerating that way. The carrier is working across that path. He's going to be forced to here again. Great job getting a clamp. He's in a tough situation, fighting for what he can get. We'll see him snap off a roll here and get both hips in the ground. Okay. Really, really important that when we snap off that roll, we're continuing to try and improve our grip. All right, we want to maintain contact all the way to the carpet. It's a great tackle in space. As a review, if you're able to get your foot in the hoop and through a same foot, same shoulder strike, create acceleration opposite the momentum of the ball carrier, you're going to drive your feet uh, and try and create that acceleration through leg drive. If you're in a situation like those last two clicks, clips we saw where you're working opposite or in the wrong direction and you're not able to drive the carrier back towards his own goal line you're going to snap off a roll tackle try and get both your hips in the ground um, and that will allow you to create force through torque that acceleration through torque is going to help get him on the ground